Hi, I'm Romy. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Baby Bjorn Move to carry a newborn. Now here I've got the Baby Bjorn Move and I've got the mesh version, um, but it's exactly the same principle whether you've got the mesh or the jersey or any other version. So I've got the Move into two separate parts at the minute and I'm going to start off with the harness, which is this part that looks like this. I'm just going to pop this down for now. Now, the first time you use this, you're going to want to adjust the settings on the back so it fits you. So if you see here, this is the back panel. And if I put it on, I'm going to put it on kind of like you put on a coat or a cardigan, so one arm through each hole, like that. Now, I'm just going to bring these around so they're kind of close together. And just have a little look or get somebody else to have a look. And you want to check that these are sitting flat on your shoulders and that the curve of the strap fits nicely around. If you just pull this forward, you want to check it's all sitting nicely, you're not having it sticking out or moving in. If it is sticking out, which is a, is a little bit for me, you can just adjust this up and down. Can you see on those sliders, you can adjust up and down where the lumbar support sits. And then adjust that just a little bit and put it back on. And then have another little feel. So pull it around and check that everything is sitting nicely. So I'm just pulling the straps Pull the straps around, see how they feel when they're snug. Check that the lumbar support feels like it's in a nice place. So it might be easier to get somebody else to help you, or if you are on your own, it's a little bit of trial and error, just so you feel when you pull it round, it all feels comfortable across your back. So you pull this bit first to see how the lumbar sits, and this bit here to check on the straps. Once you've adjusted that, you can pick up the other piece. So this is the front panel, and you'll see one part of it, if you see here, you've got this plastic section with two circles in it. You want to hold that so you've got the narrow bit at the top with the fabric panel hanging down. And one of these says L, and this one here says L, and you just literally click that in until it goes click. And you do exactly the same on the other side here, so it goes click, like that. Okay, then you can tighten up the harness. So you've got the sections around here, just going to pull these forward. So take these here and just pull these forward, wriggle them around. This is brand new, so it's a little bit tight to begin with. There we go. You just ease that through like that and then do the same on this side. And you want to do the same amount of tightening on each side. So don't do fully on one side, otherwise it will end up a bit lopsided. Okay. You've then got this section here. You're going to pull these straight forward as well. Now you want to make sure that this is snug but not uncomfortably so, particularly if you are feeding your baby, if you're breastfeeding your baby because you don't want any pressure on your chest. So make sure this is sitting snug against you but it's not putting any pressure anywhere. Okay, so we've adjusted these ones forward, like that, and these ones forward. Now ready to pick up our baby. The last thing to do, just quickly though, is just check the height of the carrier. So if you see on here, I've got this piece here, I'm not quite tall enough, We've got this flap hanging down. When it arrives, it's likely to be in the shortest position, but if you've purchased it second hand or if you've had a little play with it, just check you've got all the fabric pulled right through. So if I look on the other side, it's got this yellow marker. Just check that's pulled through, so it's in the shortest position. We can always make it a bit taller if we need to, but it's likely for new when you're going to need it on that short position. So you've got the maximum amount of this pulled through. Okay, I'm now ready to pick up my baby. So the demo doll I'm using is like a small newborn size. Um, so this is likely to be similar size to your baby, depending on how big they are. And I'm just supporting the doll in a kind of fairly newborn position with their little knees tucked up and their hands up here. Now all you're gonna do is you're gonna just hold your baby with their head on your upper chest and just support them nicely underneath their bottom. Support them with one hand. You can always support their head with your chin you want to give a little bit more support, you're just going to slide the fabric up over the bottom and back so you're then holding them with the material. Okay, you want to make sure that the top edge of the carrier with this piece folded down goes no higher than the nape of their neck. Now do you remember this piece I said about earlier here? If you find that this is actually a little bit low, then you can always take baby out and just extend it a little bit. But for a newborn, it's likely that it's going to be approximately right unless you've got a newborn with a very long torso. So you keep this piece folded over and you're supporting baby with the fabric. 
hold them with one hand and you're just going to take this little clip here and clip it in to this piece here and it goes click so that's gone straight over like that and then do exactly the same with the other side now it's up to you whether you put their arms out the side or have their arms up but I'm going to click this in generally for a newborn they like to be able to suck on their fists and chew on their hands. So for newborns, they quite like having their hands near their face like this, but it's obviously entirely up to you and your baby as to what feels most comfortable. They can either have their arms up here or they can have their arms out the side. Now, the most important thing with any baby carrier is you can see baby's face and they've got clear airway. So just check they've got that there, but they're gonna tighten up the side pieces. So you see this piece here, which has got the red, you're gonna take this and just lift it up and click it down into here so it literally slides straight down in there. I'll show you on this side. So you've got this as the piece you're sliding it into. You're going to take this and slide that part in here. And I find if I pull this strap down on me, it makes it a little bit easier and I'm not pulling it too tight over baby. So they go down and they go click. Okay, that's essentially it with doing the carrier up. There are various different tightening adjustments you can do. So if your newborn is a little bit smaller, there's a little loop piece here which attaches around onto there and what that does is it helps to just close up any gap there may be at the side so i think that will fit all right with this size of doll and the same on the other side like this if i can find the button there we go okay and there's also a little tightening piece here that you can pull on if you need to shorten it down at all so obviously we've got We've got this piece at the shortest height, but if you need to shorten it a little bit more, you can pull on those, which will make it a little bit shorter again. So as I said before, the most important thing is you can see baby's face and they've got clear airways. You also want to check the held as tightly as holding them in your arms. Now, a nice easy way to test, test that is if you rest your hands on the back of their head and just gently lean forward, their body shouldn't pull away from you. If it does, it's worth doing up those or tightening up this little piece here just to close any of the gaps. Now, position-wise, your newborn baby is likely to have the little knees tucked up in this sort of position. Obviously, with a doll, it hasn't got any muscle control. Um, you ideally want the fabric to fit from one knee to the other, so the lower leg can swing freely, and so the bottom is lower than or level with the knees. So for a newborn, they're likely to be quite tucked up with their little feet coming out the bottom like that, in that sort of position. If it's not quite coming into their knees, if they are a little bit older, then just bring the fabric very gently around into their knees, so it's supporting them from one knee to the other. It's likely to be more comfortable for them and also supports them in a nice ergonomic position. As I said before, hands can either be here or can come out of the side, as long as they've got nice clear airways. Now, you've got a little bit of space around here. If you find with your newborn that there is a bit too much space and that's not really supporting, I'm just gonna show you what you can do to help close that gap. If I lift this up, can you see there's a little, little bit of webbing here? Now, if you tighten that up like this, on either side and then fold it back down you'll find that's made it much more snug behind their head which gives a little bit more support while they're there so you need to fold it up tighten it a little bit and then fold it back down with most of these things once you've done it the first time you don't need to do it each subsequent time i'm showing you how to do it the very first time you use the carrier with a new baby so that's essentially it for the um, baby bjorn move to take baby out, you just reverse what you've done. Now there's different ways you can do it. I tend to start at the top and work downwards. So I'm gonna start here and undo this clip. And to undo it, you, if I move my hair out of the way, what you do is you just literally just clip, push those two pieces like that and unclip. And then I'm going to undo this. And what you do is you put your thumb behind and you push that and then you lift it up and slide it out. And then I'm going to repeat on the other side. So see the clip here, I'm just gonna squeeze those two and lift that off and squeeze behind here and lift this up and out. Then you can take your baby out of the carrier. Except if you've done up those side pieces that you need to undo those too. Like this. Okay, and then just ease that down over their bottom. The nice thing is it's now ready to put them back in again. So say you need to take them out to change them, you can do so. Um, it now should all be fairly straightforward when you want to put it back on again because all those tightening bits you've done 
they're all set. So the only thing you'll need to now do is bring it up, clip the four clips. If you want to do over the little um, loopy bits at the side, you can do that too, and everything else is adjusted. The same with the harness. This is all now adjusted to fit me, so I won't need to do all those adjustments afterwards. When you want to take the carrier off, pop baby down. So what you do to take this off is, remember this piece here, you're going to press the button in and unclip it. Now you can leave it all done up like that, so you can take it off like that, or you can take the other side off too. I'm going to leave it done up so it's all ready to put on again. And that's how to use the Baby Beyond Move to carry a newborn.